Get the Altima ride of your life now at Lancaster Nissan and get the deal of your life on any new Nissan and save thousands off MSRP. Plus, 0% financing up to 72 months on select new Nissans and two-year free maintenance warranty. So what are you waiting for? Come in now to Lancaster Nissan. I'm former White House chef John Boulder, author of Donnie at the White House, and owner of State of Affairs Catering here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. We're behind the hospital at my shop off Frederick Street here, and what we're going to recreate today is a recipe from my book. I called it a Osabuka of Salmon and Scallops with a Clam Saffron Broth. So what we have today, we have, uh, we have fresh dry packed scallops, sea scallops, along with uh, fresh salmon that has been cleaned and skinned. And all the and all the uh, pin bones have been picked out of it. What we're going to do is take the salmon. We're going to put it on our cutting board here, and what we're looking for is to make it about as thick as what the scallop is. So we kind of tuck that right down to the middle here, and then we're going to wrap this around like this. And what does it do is the scallop gives you the impression of the bone, like an awesome buku of veal. And of course the salmon is now the, uh, the meat part. So what we do now, obviously we have to secure this. So I go on one side of it and I take, these are six inch bamboo skewers. And I'm gonna push this all the way through. And then we crisscross with another one. And bring this across. All right. And in behind me, I have a non-stick pan. Now I'm gonna bring up temperature. I don't want it screaming hot. I want a nice medium, medium high heat there. We will be uh, pan searing the uh, salmon and scallop in that. All right. The other thing we'll be doing is uh, I'm gonna season it. I have a little bit of sea salt and a little dusting of black pepper. We will flip this over like this. Season the other side. Now what I'm gonna do is take um, some olive oil, extra virgin. I'm going to put this in the bottom of the pan. Uh, you don't want too much or too little. Uh, too little, it's, it's not going to cook properly. And if too much, we don't, obviously we're not going to try and make a fry layer out of it. We want just enough to pan sear this. You want to hear that searing sound. If the searing sound's not happening, you don't want to put the meat in there. Especially with seafood. If the pan's not hot enough, uh, the seafood more, more than likely will uh, stick to the pan. All right, so we pan seared the salmon and scallop on one side, then we flip it over to the other side. Let's see what we look like here. This looks good. What we're going to do is, all right, so here's our salmon and scallop, and it's uh, probably about only 20% cooked. We will finish the rest of this in the oven. This is something actually, if you're having a dinner party, you could actually pan sear this in the afternoon, have it ready for dinner that night, and then just pop it in the oven. And then afterwards, uh, create the sauce that goes with it. Meanwhile, also, I had taken <clears throat> fresh clams, and I washed them clean, get all the grit off them, and then I put them into a, a small pot here, and with just a couple drops of water to get the steam going, and I, I opened up the clams to able to get the broth out of it. We have the clams that we steamed open, and the juice inside, we're gonna strain off and put that into the sauce. Meanwhile, in my little saute pan, <clears throat> I'm melting down some uh, butter under a medium heat, and I take shallots. These are some fresh shallots. They're from the onion family, and they're a nice, intense flavor. And I like using them for sauces here. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make little slits this way, and then come across the front here, and then proceed to make uh, the small dice. Or I refer to as also minced shallots. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna take these shallots, you hear that little searing sound. We're gonna just kind of sweat them lightly. We don't want any colorization on the uh, shallots here. And let that cook down for a moment. Meanwhile, I have some uh, saffron. And we're gonna take a couple threads of the saffron. And I kind of crumble them up a little bit here and put that in with the shallots. And as it's sauteing here, you can kind of see, you can get the fragrance of the saffron, and you can see how the saffron is starting to colorize in with the sauteing shallots. Gonna get some of that flavor out. We're gonna have a, a little bit of a, a dry white wine, or like a Chardonnay. We're gonna deglaze the pan. And we're going to just kind of let that cook down for a moment or two to kind of release the alcohol and concentrate the flavor of the uh, wine. 
Now we're going to take a fine mesh strainer and we're going to take our clam broth and see this, this beautiful clam broth is the base for our saw. We're just going to bring this up to temperature a little bit. But we do this right now, we do not want to cook it and boil it down because it's going to get too salty. And we're not going to add any more salt to this either. Now I also have some heavy cream. This is not light cream, it's not milk. It's heavy cream, it can be poured into this and brought to a boil. It will hold up for the boiling process. If it's a light cream or half and half or milk, there's a good chance it could break on you. All right, so we'll bring that up to a boil. And what I thicken it with is just a little bit of cornstarch. So we're gonna make a slurry with the dry cornstarch. Just a couple drops of water in here. And this is referred to as a slurry. And we're just going to put a couple drops of the cornstarch in here to thicken this up. All right, so we have the sauce here. That saffron is giving nice color to it. I'm going to take a little pat of butter and just kind of whisk it into the sauce. It kind of gives a nice little rich flavor to it. And it gives a nice shine to it also. And, uh, and good flavor. We stirred up the sauce a little bit more. I can see some of the colorization from the saffron still bleeding into the sauce, giving a nice yellow color. We're going to take our salmon here. Take this guy out of the pan. And what we're going to do is now remove, a lot of times I'll take the bamboo skewers and just twist them a little bit and then remove them. Now for the plate up, we can take the sauce, and put this in the front. We take our salmon here, place that on there like that. We also have some, uh, some uh, mushrooms and julienne of carrots and zucchini. Nice little colorization here, put that on. A couple of those mushrooms on the side there. There you have it there. We have an awesome buccal of salmon and scallops with a uh, saffron clam broth. And you can eat like the Prime Minister of Italy did back in 1999 when he visited the White House. Uh, this recipe, along with other ones, are available in my book, Dining at the White House. There's a, a nice photograph of it and also the recipe.